Between the Helderberg Mountains and blue gum trees, the setting was the clincher, not the architecture. So a late decided on structural changes, then entrusted the renovation and interiors to Flip van Royen and Dr. Corleen Fenwick. They used him to coordinate their wedding. What an amazing location. What first drew you to the property? Definitely the trees, the forest. When the estate agent sent me visuals of the property, I was like, I'm not buying a cream Tuscan property. I'm not. And then when I parked my car there, I looked over that little wall and I knew, this is the house where I will retire. And luckily Flip came to the rescue and took away all the Tuscan. What do you think are some of the features that turned it from an old boring Tuscan house into a more modern villa? A lot of time and effort went into the kitchen. There was other people also involved, like my wife, making sure that we get the right finishes in the kitchen. The deal was as follows. I gave them the keys and I said, surprise me. So his wife, Corleen, who's also my GP, she chose the kitchen interior, the bedroom interior, the bathroom she designed. And I must tell you, when I walked down these steps for the first time two months later, just before the housewarming, I couldn't believe this is my house. This is quite a daring color scheme. It must have raised some eyebrows with your neighbors. Very daring. <laughs> and I think my neighbors were like, who is going to move in here? But it melts in with the forest. It all becomes one. So I actually think it was good to dare. To create space, several supporting walls were removed and replaced with steel structures. Elate's contractors were worried his 4x4 would fall through the garage floor into the kitchen, but it all worked out. Elate, you're known for creating dream weddings, dream homes and amazing spaces, but what is your own personal style? Gosh, I'm not sure anymore because I work with so many different styles of clients every single day. But for this property, I just wanted to go more minimalist. Yes, we did style it for top billing. <laughs> so there's extra pieces here today, but I wanted to keep a clean palette. My previous home, you had a moment there, a moment there, paintings there, and I was just over it, you know? The older I get, the more I just want to tone it down and create a calmer environment for myself. And that's also why I curated the art on one wall, and that room we call the gallery. You're definitely working the more refined look, and I've noticed that you've continued the black theme within the kitchen. The interesting thing is, I can help other people with their houses. I can do amazing interior for my friends, but when it came to this house, I was lost. I was like, I don't know what to choose, there's so many options. So Corleen, the builder's wife, she said, I like, let me handle it. And she went with the black leather granite tops and the rest of the kitchen design. The overall goal was for practical open spaces for entertainment and a sense of easy living. There are so many amazing items in here, but which are some of your favorites? Instead of me telling you, let me show you how many. If you say the piano, you'll the catch piano. my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very fancy, but it sounds fine, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so this is something I bought for myself yeah. for my 40th birthday. And it's from an old school hall in Port Elizabeth. It was challenging to get it onto this level, but it's tuned and it's perfect. Sounds amazing. Can you play? Just a little bit. Let's <laughs> see. Yay, we can do a duet just now. Later on. <laughs> <laughs> I come this way, so yeah. this is my other favorite, my baby. Wall of art, it's art that I've been collecting since the age of 18. I'm now 45, so you can imagine all the stories. I would drive back to a place if there's a painting that I like, and I'll probably drive back three times, but in the end, I will buy it. And you will see there's a lot of faces. I'm always drawn to faces. And my one friend from school, Yubas Stander, my best friend from school, he's also an artist. There's a lot of his work there. And then I will organize art exhibitions for him at my previous home. And in the end, after two glasses of wine, I buy the art. But luckily, the wall is now full, so no more buying. And I love how it works so well with this beautiful volume and amazing chandeliers. This area was an outside area. The structure was there, 
but it was paved and there was water flowing on the one side, a little channel. And I thought, but why? It's such a wasted space. So this is where we took out windows and we put these glass panels so you can have shows, you have the chandeliers. It's just authentic and I love. There's even a pizza oven in a gallery. <laughs> as well as a fountain so large it wouldn't be out of place in Rome. It took eight men and a crane to carry and forms the centerpiece of the garden by Bulgarian landscape designer Eti Base. One look at this garden and it's clear why it's been nicknamed the Boom Haze. Yes, for sure. This was the first uh, thing when I came to visit this house, the beautiful bluecomb trees that appeared out of nowhere and it is like an almost forest feeling. And I felt like a little girl lost in this forest and trying to explore. How did you design the garden to complement this beautiful landscape? Well, the design inspiration came from Olet himself. I tried to implement his nature, his personality, his lifestyle, and the outside area should fit together with the house. So that was also very important. And I tried to stay with the nature reserve as possible to preserve what we had already existing and eliminate any alien plants and just to bring a little bit more color and texture and life again into this place. One of the other unique ideas you had is having peach pips instead of grass. Yes, the challenge with this garden was the shade. So the best option for us was to use alternative for grass and the more natural looking product was the peach pips and it fits perfectly with the style and the nature of the garden. This place is full of wonder. I actually noticed a chessboard on the lower terrace of the garden. Yes, I was thinking about a lady's daughter and trying to create also a special space for her to go and enjoy and play and be a child. And when I saw the concrete space at the bottom, I said, no, oh, that is perfect for a chessboard. To do a six months renovation in just two months took 13 hour days and seven day work weeks. Now we're getting personal. <laughs> yeah. Why am I not surprised that you chose the room with the best view? It is a stunning view. Yeah. But I've got two views, that one and this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it flows, the glass just allows it to flow into the bathroom. Yeah. This was a massive surprise because the dressing room used to be on this side yeah. and they've doubled the bathroom for me. I didn't expect the glass, two shower heads. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I would have that. But I stole a room on the one side in order to enlarge this bedroom and have the bigger bathroom yeah. and also have amazing dressing room. <laughs> Can I see the amazing dressing room? Let me show you. <laughs> and late, man, these are closet goals. I think you're the only other guy who has as many suits as I do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, closet, closet wow. party trick. Wow, I should get me one of these. <laughs> cool, <man>. huh? <laughs> yeah. But it just doesn't stop. Uh, let me show you something that doesn't stop. My yeah. daughter Catalina. Oh, let's meet her. <laughs> As if to disprove her dad's point, we found the super athletic Catalina reading, with a fountain trickling serenely in the background. I heard there was a princess in the house, but aren't you more like a queen? Yes. And you're not just any queen, you're a South African championship queen. Which athletic discipline did you win in? I won a 17 meter hurdle race. Yes, and it must be amazing for you to come home to this beautiful space. Which is your favorite room in the house? My room. And why is that? Our answer. Big because there's a TV, is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what else? I have a balcony. And what do you love doing with your dad? Playing chess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alade, you have an impressive career. What is it about the home that you love retiring back to? Definitely Catalina. Yeah. She's grounded me and has given me purpose and a sense of belonging. Yeah. We don't have a lot of time together because she's also very good at gymnastics. And she has that three times a week in private athletic classes. I love how amazing you guys are together. Thank you so much for inviting me to your home, for introducing me to such amazing spaces and to your gorgeous and beautiful daughter. High five. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Oh, and man. you really are a testament to ignoring trends and designing with your heart. 
That's beautiful. Thank you, Harmony. Yeah. Great having you. Thank you. Let's eat. All right. Here we were, enjoying lunch in a house fully renovated in just eight weeks. Proof of a late's greatest talent, getting people to achieve what they thought was impossible.